Hi guys, welcome to another deck food. Today I'll be doing a review on the Black Scorpion deck. Now you're probably saying to yourself um, that I've already done this deck, but um, if you remember that um, that video was a bit dodgy, and they're not as good as my videos which are done recently today. So I will be doing some um, doing some deck reviews again, just because they're not as good as the ones which are done recently. And I won't be doing all of them. If they're good enough, I'll leave them. But only the dodgy ones I'll just do again. So, yeah. But, um, so to start off with this one, I'll be doing a re redo review on the um, Black Scorpion deck. It's a really nice deck. It's quite an old deck now. But, um, yeah, let's just start off with the outside of the box. So, as you can see, the main colour is black and yellow. And, um, as you can see across the top, you have Bicycle. And then down below you have a black scorpion deck in white. Below that you have a yellow scorpion and it says playing cards, okay? On the side you have air because you finished, men in the USA. On the other side you have black scorpion deck in bold as well. On the top here it says black scorpion and you have a standard USPCC seal. On the bottom you have um, copyright information and magicmakers.com. And here's the back design, we'll get some more information about that later on. On the tab you have um, some copyright information in yellow, quite nice. And on the other tabs you have just black, no text. And the inside of the box is also white. So here is the back design here, we'll just go over it quite quickly. There's not much to go over at all. So as you can see that it, the um, the actual design on it is yellow, quite a nice darkish type of yellow, not too bright, quite nice yellow. And then the back in behind that is black. So it's only two colours, not too detailed at all, and it's only used in the bicycle rider back design. Okay. So let's get into the cards which you get. You get four extra cards. They're not actually quite like the extra cards which you may have seen in my previous deck reviews, which are more recent, like with the ad cards and stuff, and two jokers, but you'll see. So with you get one joker which is quite simple actually at the top you can just see Joker in yellow text and below that you have the yellow scorpion Okay, and as you may notice as I go through it um, these cards are actually black Okay, so that's the Joker, and you only get one Joker by the way and you also get this gaff card with it as well so as you can see you've got um, six diamonds up here and you've got a nine here or is it a six and then you have a um, nine clubs down here so it could be nine clubs or six of diamonds okay so it's quite a nice feature there and you get these two ace of spade gaff cards um you basically get the scorpion holding a red ride back card facing facing away from like the spectator and then on the other one you have the um the card facing towards them and as you can see it's an ace of diamonds not too sure if you can pick that up because it's quite small. But anyway, you get three gaff cards and one joker. But um, yeah, let's get into the actual cards. So the ace of spades, as you may have noticed from the ace of spades gaff card, uh, it's very simple and yeah. So as you can see, the indexes are in fact yellow and the black pipped cards are yellow as well because I can't have black on a black deck because you won't be able to see them. So they made them yellow, which is quite nice. And yeah, in the centre you can obviously see the yellow scorpion. And as you can see the pips are yellow as I just said. And yeah. When you get to the core cards you'll notice that they are also different colours. They are mainly yellow, um, blue and white. The blue mainly makes the colours just pop out and gives a really great look towards the just the look of the deck and it's really nice. And yeah. Let's go through the rest of the deck now. And as you can see, the red cards, so the diamonds and the hearts, are in fact white. And it really goes with the black. And yeah. Let's just go through these as normal. And as you see, it just stays consistent throughout the whole deck. And yeah. So that is the look of the deck. So let's get on to the handling of the deck now. So as you can see it spreads fairly evenly, but when you do do this you may notice some chipping because this is a, this is a black deck, so the more you use it the more um, chipping 
or whatever you like to call it, um, will you'll see. So if you just like fan it a little bit, you'll notice that there's little chips on the side. But um, with a white deck, with a white deck, uh, it does happen, but you just don't see it because it's obviously white. But this is black, so you will notice it more. Um, and yeah, so it spreads quite evenly. Um, seems to chunk a little bit, but not too much, and um, cuts nicely, nice and evenly. Fans nicely, and you can see the pips nicely as well. It's very, quite a smooth deck actually. It is just standard acreage finish, but still um, fans um, and handles great. And this does have a lot of ink on it, so it may just slow it down, like decrease the handling performance on it. But yeah, springs nicely, and yes, yeah, about it. And the riffle shuffles nicely as well. So this has been the Black Bicycle Black Scorpion deck. If you would like to check out the um, the older video, the older deck review of this, there's a link in the description below. But um, yeah, tell me uh, um, what you think I should do. Whether I should just delete it, unlist it, or just like keep it up and just leave it there. And yeah, um, I'll be doing more of these like because the older ones weren't too good. And um, yeah so if you did enjoy this video don't forget to leave a like subscribe if you're new and go check out my other videos and that'll, that'll be much appreciated so thanks for watching don't forget to rate comment and subscribe thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye